I wanted to talk about one other aspect that I think is relevant to animal-based diets, evolutionary diets, and skin damage, photo damage to the skin, um, and that is sorolins. So these family of compounds are found in things like parsnips, celery, apaceae, genus, or family, uh, and these type of molecules are also furanocumarins, and they're scary because they can accumulate in the skin and are associated with problematic skin cancer. So is this possible? This is also changing the context of our skin in addition to linoleic acid. So high levels of UVB exposure increase the risk of non-melanoma, that being squamous and basal cell cancer in sorolin and UVA treated patients. So there are people, there are humans who have things like psoriasis and they get sorolins. They're given sorolins, which are a plant defense molecule, which accumulates in the skin and then they are given UVA treatment and then they have um, high levels of UVB exposure and they have increased risk of non-melanoma skin cancer. So is it possible that most of the population is eating a lot of celery or too much celery or too much parsley or too many parsnips or even too many carrots, which have furanocumarins, and this could be leading to skin sensitivity. Carcinogenic risks of sorolin UVA therapy and narrowband UVB therapy in chronic plaque psoriasis, a systemic literature review. These authors do find there's an increased risk here. The conclusion, there's an increased risk of skin cancer following pulsed ultraviolet A light shown by both US and European studies. These are for people who are receiving sorolin therapy for their plaque psoriasis, but you can get more sorolins in your diet just by eating more celery, parsnips, et cetera, from that family. Sorolins, post UVA and skin cancer. Here's another review that I'll let you guys look for if you want to find it. The potential uh, PUVA induced melanoma remains a significant concern and requires further long-term follow-up. Long-term and follow-up studies of patients with psoriasis in both the US and Europe have shown that PUVA is a dose-related independent carcinogen. Important carcinogens uh, with, PUF, with PUVA are a history of arsenic ex exposure, ionizing radiation, and skin cancer, and sorolins. Sorolins interact strongly with DNA. Exposure to UVA light causes cross-linking of DNA strands. This is the PUVA is a sorolin and UVA treatment. I was saying that wrong. It's not pulsed UVA, my correction. It's sorolin and UVA light. So the PUVA is sorolin uh, UVA therapy. They use 8-methoxy uh, sorolin, 8-MOP. And again, it causes cross-linking of DNA strands, but it's not just found in these medical models. It's found in food. Um, one of the more I shouldn't say comical because it's not comical for this woman, but severe phototoxic burn following celery ingestion. A 65-year-old woman developed severe generalized phototoxic reaction following a visit to a suntan parlor. History taking revealed she had consumed a large quantity of celery root. She was listening to some kind of channeler of Jesus telling her that celery, no, this is too long ago for that kind of bullshit. But um, one hour earlier, she had a bunch of celery an hour earlier. And she had tons of 8-methoxysorolin and 5-methoxysorolin in the extract in her blood from the celery root. You can get this from eating these foods. So are sorolins in our food contributing to skin sensitivity? It's another possibility. There's another correlation here that I should point out. Citrus consumption and the risk of cutaneous malignant melanoma. There is a correlation here, as you'll see. Citrus consumption was associated with an increased risk of malignant melanoma, melanoma in two cohorts of women and men. Further investigation is needed. That's observational only. But when you look at sorolins and citrus, what you find is that grapefruit is the highest and the skin and the peel, the rind have more sorolins than the actual fruit of the citrus trees. So there's an argument. Maybe you don't want to eat a ton of oranges. Maybe you want to get some oranges, not a lot of grapefruit, monitor your sorolin intake, if you're limiting things like parsley, parsnips, uh, celery, carrots, other things from the APACE genus, then you are likely going to have less sorolins in your skin and that may be, lead to less photosensitization. But I think that the two major factors of photosensitization in humans are excess linoleic acid consumption for the reasons I enumerated and sorolins from predominantly vegetables or grapefruit and some citrus fruits.